December the 5th, 1945. Five Avenger torpedo bombers take off from Fort Lauderdale Naval Air Station in Florida. Flight 19, as it's codenamed, is a routine navigation training mission along the Atlantic coast. In command, US Navy Lieutenant Charles Taylor, a highly experienced airman. He's led dozens of training missions, but is unfamiliar with this particular stretch of coast. Midway through the mission, things start to go wrong. Lieutenant Taylor reports trouble with his compasses. With the weather deteriorating fast, is soon hopelessly lost. A PBM-5 Martin Mariner sets out on a rescue mission to locate the flight and guide the pilots back home. The Mariner calls in a routine message. But after that, it's never heard from again. No wreckage has ever been recovered from Flight 19 or the Mariner rescue plane. All manner of weird and wonderful theories have been put forward to explain the disappearance of these aircraft, from alien abductions to the effects of an electromagnetic fog. It's more likely the pilots simply got lost, ran out of fuel, and had to ditch somewhere over the ocean. The Mariner and Flight 19 ran into trouble somewhere in the area surrounding the Bahamas. And for the first time, it's now possible to drain this area to the seabed around three miles down. Draining reveals a vast, featureless underwater zone known as the Abyssal Plain. It's like a gigantic underwater desert. It's easy to see why the aircraft have never been recovered. But now, 70 years on, we could finally be close to finding the Martin Mariner rescue plane.